Hey guys, still here, and welcome back to Ultimate Upgold Reginals Taskmaster Tuesday. Normally, Taskmaster Tuesday is a one-time attempt. You get it done, you upload it, done. You do not get a retry. This week is, at least for me, a bit different. Here's the story. I was uploading the file, um, and usually this just goes on in the background, and at 73% of the upload, it was hanging which is unusual, because usually just goes straight to YouTube. Then I, uh, well, that thing was uploading, I already started recording a War of the Sea video, and I started noticing slowdowns. The game was stuttering for some reason. And my recording software was hanging every, well, every minute, a few seconds, and I thought, hold on, that's weird. Did they install some sort of new patch? Is something going on? So, um, finished the episode, if you will, tried editing it, and then the file wouldn't open. So I thought, hold on, that's even worse. What, what the hell's going on here? Looked into the Steam forums, and nobody else was complaining of a stuttering issue, so it was not the game. And considering that I had some other clues, I thought, you know what? Maybe it's time to run some diagnostic software on my hard disk. And it turns out that the hard disk has bad sectors. Now, bad sectors, at least from what I've been able to discern on uh, forum pages, means that the disk is dying. So, I think that my recording of Taskmaster Tuesday and the one from War on the Sea, which I'll also re-record, uh, got caught in the crossfire of the bad sectors. And because of that, the drive couldn't open them. So, here I am scrambling uh, four hours before the video is supposed to go live to get this video out there. <laughs> which is uncomfortably close for me because I usually do it at least a day in advance. Anyway, um, that means that I have to get a sort of re-attempt for this particular challenge, which is designed by committee. Um, came up with, uh, or the uh, English, Brother Monroe came up with the scenario. We are to build the new Russian battleship to show the power and glory of the Communist Party. However, each member of the Politburo has their own ideas on what should be done. Each Taskmaster Admiral may add one design constraint so that, they, uh, that each must follow. Now, Spartan has said that the game or that the, the ship must have a minimum of five main gun turrets. Brother Monroe demands a maximum of 55 million spent per ship, so we have a budget of 55 million. Surrey Strategy Guy Gamer says we can only have one caliber of gun. So, in the Soviet Union slash Russia, everybody is uh, the same. And there can be no exceptions for different sizes of turrets. And that goes for the entirety of the ship, from what I've understood. Which means no secondaries. My restraint is that the Communist Party is going to require this battleship to be able to strike anywhere. And that means we need to have very long range. So that's quite a shopping list of requirements. Uh, in case you're wondering, there is one holdout, and that's History Guy Gaming. He did not respond, so I'm assuming he does not do this challenge, or he's too busy to answer. And that means we only have four restraints to work with. So, time to build a battleship. Um, I know that my previous design didn't quite work, so I'm going to try something a bit different. What I was using initially was a battleship that had uh, five triple 12-inch guns, but it could only do 16 knots. Which means that the ship was so incredibly slow that I could not possibly keep up with the enemy. And because of that, um, I spent a good long time trying to get close to the enemy. Eventually, sort of getting close enough to do some damage to them. And then I ran out of shells. So that was not a great attempt. Now, the ship that I'm going to be building has an interesting set of requirements. Slash constraints. In the sense that I have a budget, um, I have to have very long range, I have to have one caliber of guns only, and it has to be capable of equally, uh, well, it has to be equally potent in fighting destroyers and battleships. That's usually requiring a very different caliber gun, because 16 inch guns, for example, would be very potent against battleships. Um, not terribly useful against destroyers because they have a terrible reload. So that means I'm going to have to go for something smaller. Um, I used 12 inch in the previous attempt, the one that had the bad sector issue. And uh, I found that that didn't quite work out because the guns didn't really have the pen that I needed. 
So this time around I'm going to go for 14 inch guns. Now I need to have 5 turrets at least, 5 main gun turrets. So we're going to go with 14 inch dual barrel. And I'm hoping that I can fit... Well, I have to fit 5 turrets on the ship. Now if I'm not mistaken, if you put... Oh no, right, that's if I put it over there. I was going to say you can create a super firing uh, solution. But that's only when you put the gun up there, which doesn't fit for this particular tower. It might for this. No, turret's just too big. Normally, I would just go for a different turret. I would go for a 13-inch or a 12-inch because I know that that fits on there. The 14-inch, not so much. And because of that, I'm going to have to... Well, not go with a super firing solution. We're just going to go with a full broadside solution. The game is complaining about a barbette being empty. And I think that, yeah, that's the aft barbette that the game is complaining about. So it's unfortunate, but so be it. Um, I'm going to put this one on a barbette anyway. The reason for that is that I can then pull the other gun closer to the front and get rid of that aft weight offset. To the front slightly. Now I'm looking at 0.4 um, weight offset, which is not terrible. Bulkheads could use a bit of a buff. Ooh, <laughs> really close to the maximum cost here. Uh, we're firing Lidite. No, 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 no. It's way too expensive. It's too expensive. Um, mm -mm -mm. Semi-oil, I'm still running too expensive. But not by that much. Let's go with standard turret rotation. There, 54 million. So I can still get a small, small item on the ship. Hydroacoustic station would be useful. Turning circle is about a kilometer. Ah, it's too expensive. What if I go for many bulkheads? That takes quite a bit of the price off. Aux 3. Ooh. And that puts quite a lot of the price back on. Improved propeller shaft. Um, checking requirements. Very long range. Check. Minimum 5 main gun turrets. Check. Maximum 55 million per gun or per ship. Check. 1 caliber of gun to be used, which is only 14 inch duels. Check. Now that leaves me with a bit of armor. Um, belt armor would be mo ooh, most appreciated, but I cannot fit it on the ship. There, 12.9. I have $570 left before I hit the 55 million. That's too expensive. Secondaries don't exist. Belt armor too expensive. Deck armor way too expensive. No. No. No, I guess we're just going to have to go with this. So, this is the Tsarevich. We're going to see if this thing is capable of both intercepting and followingly damaging enemy ships. And again, this is a sort of a retry, which I don't consider entirely fair to the other contestants. But I couldn't for the life of me figure out how to get that file repaired. Because I was basically sitting, or I still basically am sitting on a time bomb. I had to reinstall UAD to a different drive. And also make sure that my uh, Bandicam, my recording software, outputs to a different drive. Because that was putting the file on the damaged drive. Anyway, uh, enough about the drive. Let me know what your thoughts are on whether this is fair or not. I'm a bit on the fence. This is sort of um, overpowering. Sort of um, force majeure, shall we say. Okay, here we go. We have two years tech advantage, but they definitely have the numbers. And my battleship is going to have to kill them all. Good luck with that. The enemy's been spotted to the north. There we go. Uh, the objective, the winning design, is the one that's able to sink the capitalist dogs while taking the least amount of damage. So time is not really that important, although I imagine that that could be a tiebreaker. If we eventually get the, let's say, we happen to get the exact same level of structural. But I think that structural damage would be the first qualifier for victory. Then comes buoyancy. Uh, if that happens to be the exact same, which the odds are very unlikely, then I'd say we're going to go for time. Enemy battleship spotted. 
I have opened up, they have not spotted me. That's a good start. That's a pretty nice design. Nine 15 inch guns. Pretty nice design. I quite like it. What is that? Six inch? Yeah, that's six inch with four inch for backup. Nice design indeed. Okay. Now, chance to hit. It's actually not terrible. The challenge is, however, if I want to make sure I can bring those stern barrels to bear, I'm going to have to expose a lot of broadside. Which is uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. But it's going to have to get done. Because those 14 inchers can probably make pretty short work of that battleship. At this range, 12-7... We might be looking at plunging fire, which would mean devastating the hits to the battleship. And potentially, potentially a quick demise of the battleship. All right, if you could hold steady for a second. Just have to take a few pictures of the ship. Thank you. Huh? I wasn't even targeting you. Oh, but I did hit him. <laughs> I'll take it. No, sorry. I <laughs> I am targeting the battle cruiser, which seems to have a few bulkheads too little to keep the ship dry. Just punch a few more holes and we can get rid of that battle cruiser real quick. The battleship is at 9 kilometers. So far, I haven't taken any scratch of damage, but that's probably not going to last. Chance to hit about 4%, chance to hit here, unidentified, so I don't know. Unless I click and switch to the target. Another fire, okay, excellent, but no flooding. Oh, a destroyer popped up. Destroyers could be a real problem for the Tsarevich. Because they're, well, they're sneaky. And depending on the type of torpedo that they have, I will either see it or not see it coming in time. And my turning circle is just under a kilometer long. So that's causing all sorts of issues. All right, we're going to switch to the battleship. 27% chance to hit. Now we're getting somewhere. 28. Fire. Oh, beautiful. This is the battleship Superb. She has standard amount of bulkheads, so that flooding probably won't kill her. Um, looking at armor scale, group 2. Could be better. Lidite 2. Oh, buddy. Lidite 2 is pretty unsafe for usage. Oh, torpedo in the water. Torpedoes in the water. Slow the ship down some to improve that turning circle of mine. Where did that come from? Because that was not just the battleship. I refuse to believe that. Yes, it might have some torpedo launchers, but not that many. No. Light cruiser? No. Would the destroyer know anything about that, then? You. Torps, torps. Yes, the destroyer would probably know something about that. Glad I spotted that. Those 14-inch guns do sound really good. Hey-ho, another flooding. Star return. So now we have dodged the torps. How fast is this thing? 35 knots. Superb 26. Even to my 26. In constant. Maximum bulkheads. Okay, well protected. Oh crap, this thing's gonna torp me again. That's problematic. We also have the Lord Clyde over here. Very British. Minimum bulkheads. Uh, 
I really hope I have enough shells to deal with both the battleships and to, well, to miss enough times for... I know it sounds weird, but to miss enough times against the destroyer and the light cruiser. Because they generally are harder to hit. It's what you use 5 inch, 6 inch, 7 inch secondaries for. But I'm not allowed to have those because the Soviet Union, all guns are even. Cannot have any inequality with the guns. Now, I think the Superb is blocking the Ardent from launching any further torpedoes, so that works very well for me. Keep that up. Come on. Are you sure we can't pen this thing? This is like we're either just bouncing off or not hitting him. No, we're not hitting him. Hmm. And we are flooding in the meanwhile. But I'm very much hoping that we can pump that compartment dry again. Come on, we gotta kill the Superb before she gets us. Her chance to pen, the Superb's chance to pen me is not that good. Oh, can we get a bit of flooding? That'd be great. Five, four, three, two, one, dead. Way to go. Next target, in constant. Chance to pen and chance to... Well, chance to pen is great, but chance to hit is far less. Considering that the target is smoked up, way smaller, and moving a few knots faster than the battleship. But then again, if you hit one of these with a high explosive shell of 14 inch, it's usually enough to put him down. Chance to pen against the battlecruiser is going down. Interesting. Ooh, there we are. Arguably, I should be going after the battlecruiser first. Especially since they have the Medea right close to it. So even if I don't hit the battlecruiser, I might hit the Medea. But the Inconstant is almost done, so we can finish her off. Ooh. You really don't want to be aboard that ship right now. So out of each spots the torpedo at about 1.8 kilometer range. Able to dodge. Yes. There she goes. Immediately calls flooding against the battlecruiser. Lord Clyde should be slowing down. Come on. Oh, perfect. Another flooding. Well done. Starboard turn. Couple of good salvos and we can get him. Preferably before the Lennox decides to start launching fish at me. What? I don't mean to target the Lennox. We still need to finish off the Lord Clyde there. Can that thing pen me? Oh yeah. 42%, come on, 1%. Gotcha. New target, the Lennox. The Lennox just decided to launch her fish against the Cezarevich. So immediately start turning away. There they are. Full turn. Sink that thing. Standard complement of bulkheads. Not terribly difficult to sink it. Now this is when I'm going to be running into trouble with the slow turret rotation, especially from the bow turrets. So in this case it's fortunate that I have most of my firepower concentrated on the stern. Turn back. Not quite sure how the A turret's a 360 degree turret, but I'll take it. Lennox just took another big chunk and is going down. 1,655 damage. Yep. Come on. Get the Medeo. There we go. She might still throw a torpedo at me. Or are those bow stern launchers? Ah, oh, she's not going to throw any torpedoes today. I think that after the Medea is done, that's the last ship. 
And see, this is where I find it to be a bit uncomfortable, because in the previous attempt that I recorded, it turned into a pretty long video as well. Um, oh, fuck. Turn! In the previous attempt, I actually failed the mission. And, oh, and before, 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 before. Mm. Yeah, we're fine. Um, in the previous attempt, I failed the mission. The task went terribly. And this this whole retry, due to bad sectors on a drive, it feels a bit scummy. But let me, uh, let me know what you think about it down below in the comment section. I hope you guys still enjoyed the video, even if it was uh, potentially a bit rushed. A bit stressed because the, well, the recording schedule got messed up. I had Quinn off to my parents for the morning, which I thought was, okay, excellent. My kid's out the door, my wife's working, I can record some videos. And then my PC went, well, <laughs> you can try. But hey-ho, uh, the disc failed after probably 10 years. Anyway, Taskmaster done. Check out the other attempts linked down below in the description. And I shall see you guys soon for another one.